Scientists say they have successfully eliminated HIV from infected cells using Nobel Prize winning CRISPR gene editing technology. The hope is to ultimately be able to rid the body entirely of the virus, although much more work is needed to check it would be safe and effective. Well, let's get more on this and speak with Dr. Jonathan Stoyer, virus expert at the Francis Crick Institute. Hello, welcome to you. Thanks for being with us. So just explain how this process works. Well, I think before I do that, I have to give you a little bit of background about HIV and the disease it causes. So when HIV uh, infects a cell, it kills it usually, and this can result in AIDS and people will die. However, we have worked out ways to treat the virus and stop it growing. And if you take your HIV medication, you don't succumb to AIDS. However, this is, there is a problem here because we can't get rid of all the virus. Some of it will infect cells, go to sleep and persist for a long, long time, but occasionally reactivate. And if we are not taking medication, we're back to square one again. So for a number of years, scientists have been trying to find ways to get rid of the HIV from our cells. And this CRISPR-Cas9 technology, which we've heard about, is the current best chance of doing this. It consists of a way of, of delivering an enzyme into a cell that will cut specifically the virus, and it has this enzyme plus guides that will target it to give it this specificity. The experiments we've heard about are in cells. Um, they're not in, in, in humans or, or primates, but there is every hope that this kind of technology will be useful in the future in order to try and get rid of, uh, of HIV from this latent reservoir. So how far off do you think scientists are in uh, being able to get this treatment to work effectively then? Well, there's a lot of, there are a lot of problems. You have to remember, we don't know very much about this viral reservoir. There are probably at least 10 to the 9 cells, a billion cells that carry these proviruses. And we don't know how many of those we have to eliminate in order to cure people from AIDS. And so this work is ongoing. Now, some studies have been carried out in animals, um, and there have been reports of... 70 or 80 or 90 percent elimination of the reservoir but we don't know whether that's enough and this is something that will be important to discover in the future it, it's a real problem if only suppose only one percent of this reservoir survives will that reactivate and cause aids again I definitely don't have the answer to that question, but thank you very much for raising it and for explaining all of that to us uh, Dr. Jonathan Story thank you very much. Thank you. It was a pleasure.